was worthy with gifts by the wise old king, honored with heirlooms. Then he offered wear ill gold for that wretch <coughs> ravaged by Grendel, viciously murdered, as more would have been had not God in his wisdom and one man's courage withstood weird there. The wielder controlled all of mankind, as he always does. Forethought is best future in the mind and plans for everything. All those who are given long days in this world, life before darkness, shall suffer and enjoy sorrow and happiness. <laughs> Then sweet strumming silenced the company. Heart strings sounded for half done sun. Fingers drew notes. Found story words. Hushed me benches when Karotgar's minstrel mourned a winter tale. Matched it with song of the house of Finn, of that fatal night visit when that noon tall guest. Math the visitor fell to death breath in Frisian slaughter. Hildegard, Finn's wife, and Kanath's sister, praised not that day. Tormented queen, bereft of loved ones by Linden Shield play. Her brother and son slain in treachery by deep spear bites. Dark was her mourning. With heavy heart thoughts, Pope's daughter child measured destiny when darkness paled. When gray light sky spread before her eyes black murder veil. Battle slaughter one fetched the life from her. Finn's warrior fame, all but a few, ended at last when Hengist and his men held against them all. Nothing could flush them. Fighting was stalled with ominous silence. At the end of slaughter was no victory. They vowed peace terms. Judeans was offered their own winter home, hall room and high seat to hold peacefully with half of everything, enemies together. Before the gift throne, folk all the sun would honor the deed each day at nighttime. Welcome with rings, warriors of Hengist. Give from his treasure gold arm bracelets, equal in boasting, beer cups, and song. And so they swore together, solemn companions, a firm peace pact. Finn gave to Hengist. In full hall council, hard oath bindings with his elders' advice. In honorable plenty, he would hold them. No envious hall fame with words or with deeds would damage that peace. No Dane would lament with malice on his tongue that they now followed, forced by that truce, their lord's life taker through that long winter. If one Frisian with foul hate words mindful of mischief, should mention battle thoughts. A sharp sword edge would silence that tongue. <laughs> Oaths were honored. Old gold treasure brought from the board. The best warrior, Lord of the Boarding, was laid upon the fire. Peaked on the bale fire, battle gear waiting. Bloodstained corslet. Cloven mask covenants gilded with boar heads, grim slaughter guards, with too many warriors wounded to rest. Then came Hildeberg, where her nap lay waiting, bathed that her son be swallowed by flames next to her brother, nephew by his side, at his uncle's shoulder. She sang. In her grief, a keen sorrow song as they settled in there.
the great slaughter fire, circle to the sky, rear to the heavens, flame swallowed all, the greediest of spirits sucked them away, the fins and the veins fled. Yeah. 